Lauren and I met each other in prison. And wait, wait, oh, wait this is some new you stuff here. You can't just gloss Tab over out. that. Yes, 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 what? yes. You know we did time. You know we did time together. You know we did time. Go ahead, do tell. Oh, okay, I thought you knew this. No, I, did my story. I don't I have that. any more tea. <laughs> so, security. No, we're not here. <laughs> so, Lauren and I did time together. We did 90 days together in um, Danbury Federal Prison Camp. And that encounter changed my life. So, hmm. I was cool with the counselor who took her in. And she assigned Lauren to me. So Lauren didn't even deal with any of the prisoners for the whole time she was there. I was the only person that she dealt with. Okay. So for day in and day out for 90 days, and it might not seem like a long time, but in prison, when you spend every That's waking hour time. with someone, it's, it becomes a long time. Were you roommates? Well, we weren't roommates, but we would see each other to 11 or 12 at night when we had to go in, and then I would get her in the morning. So at the end of the day, we was very so close. So what, what is a day in a life? So, oh, yeah, this y'all, is, this listen. Yeah. better Don't and better. better. Hold We're on. damn bad Connecticut. Yeah. Ho yeah. Hold on. So basically, just we connected immediately. So you know I come from the music industry, so so does she. And then we knew a lot of the same mutual people, so we was able to talk and discuss that. And um, we just would come converse for hours about that, and then when we got to meet each other, we learned that our lifestyles was a lot alike. Like her mother was a school teacher, so was mine. And she has an older brother, just like me. Like, that's the same amount of years apart. And we grew up in similar style backgrounds as far as our parents pushing us, wanting us to achieve the most. And then, you know, going different routes. Um, she really went the positive route, though. And just pretty much, I mean, for, for the most part, I went to the streets. Right. She stayed in the arts. And then, I guess, you know, just life and challenges and men and just things, you right. know. So but she was men. in jail She was in jail because uh, at Danbury because of tax evasion. evasion. And really, that's sad because she didn't really handle her taxes. So, although she's supposed to be responsible for the people that are handling it, in many ways, she thought that her business was being handled, and it wasn't. So if you really get to understand Lauren, really, she suffered from a lot growing up, trusting people, being a star at this early so age, young. being dependent, a lot of people being dependent upon her for income, a lot of people using her mm -hmm. or misusing her for their own gain or fame. And to be honest with you, she's probably one of the most prolific um, spiritual people that I've ever met in my whole mm. entire life. I believe and that. so for me, I was in a weary state at the time. I had already done five years when Lauren came in. So I had given up a lot of my hopes and my dreams. So it was actually Lauren coming into the prison, speaking life into me, wow. telling me who I was, telling me what I'm doing with y'all today that I would be doing that mm. and giving me hope. So my whole movement that I start, started behind bars is because of Lauren Nicole Hill. Wow. You yes. feel me? So, you put so let me apologize. On on I'm going to put some respect on my Nicole, sister's name. I will never, ever, ever again well, let me and she's still so we're talking about <laughs> with you in the room. <laughs> now we're talking about when Jamila's here. Right. Nah, now no, we're I'm talking about people whose word is their bond. Mm. So after um she left prison, and I thought she would never probably even see me or speak to me again because I thought it was all whatever. But she stayed in contact with me. She stayed in contact with my kids. So oh, wow. my first filming project took place through Lauren from behind bars. Wow. So we used to email each other every single day, and you know she would lift me up and then do that you know conversation we started filming women exiting prison and so we kind of started a whole production which later on wow. turned into something else so i'm grateful for her in so many ways okay. so if you talk about my sister okay all right, all right. i get it i, I get, get it i get it i get it i get it i get it all right yeah. but jamila but jamila yes if i spend 150 dollars for a go. ticket here we go mm -hmm. and it says on a ticket <laughs> yes. that the concert starts <laughs> yes. at eight o'clock yeah and Lauren doesn't show up until eleven o'clock in the, the in the facility in the facility shuts down at eleven thirty because mm. of union stuff. Mm. Should I not be upset about that? And should there not be a running joke yeah. when this is a crime? I don't, I don't know about a running joke because I don't like running jokes. We just talked about I was at West Side High earlier. Oh, okay. shout out oh. to the Akbar, Akbar Cook. Yes, I love him. yes, yeah. Jersey, Jersey, yes. and we was talking about cyberbullying. Okay, so does yes. that qualify as that bullying? Might, that that might Come on, jokes. Jokes. On, now, you're stating facts, but jokes. But it's a fact that she's late. Right. She, okay. And it's funny. So I'm going to... <laughs> Lamont. Lamont. 
We back at this again, it's Lamont. Funny. I don't know how funny it is. Listen, but listen, even with the pain. She's getting better. She's getting better. Yes, I saw her Radio City with her. Dave Chappelle. She how went on was she? before Dave. Good for what? her. Yes, she okay. was on that stage Thank at you. like 9 05. And we were, everybody was like, and she's getting better. And she Yo. has work. She does a mate. Like I was telling you about the musical director. So from prison, me and my relationship with her, I introduced her to my really good friend, Jules Bartholomew, who now does a ton of music with her. He's a Grammy Award winning producer, by the way, that I went to high school with at Fiorella LaGuardia. Come on, Queens. High you better school go ahead. LaGuardia. LaGuardia. You okay. Better say that. Fame. Yes. Fame. I'm going Wait, to Wait, hold forever. on. What was your talent? What was, I was a drama major. You can't tell. Oh, yes. Yes. She's dramatic. Yes. That makes Hattie. so much mm. sense. She's did dramatic. you do did you do like prison plays? Do they have I that? Actually, Is that a thing? I actually did, Lamar. And before you come for I I'm got not got you. coming <laughs> for you. <laughs> that so that is a I, real I, question. I, yes, we did. That's a real yes, question. Yes, we did. That's but it. anyway, going back to Jules. <laughs> Jules is Lauren's musical director, and they do a ton of music together. And she's so brilliant and f- just incredibly talented. You know, she's a perfectionist, though. Mm-hmm. And I can say that even about her with small things you know so whenever she produces whatever she's gonna put out i'm sure it's gonna be amazing and she won't be 99 and it will okay. be her print on it okay and we're gonna love it how All about right. that